Hello everybody and welcome to another one of these photo speed videos with myself, Sam Gregory. Now today I'm going to be looking at this particular image of mine printed on two different types of paper. The photo speed Platinum Cotton 305, which is this one here, and the photo speed NST Bright White 315, which is a paper that I use quite a lot. Now just before I get into that in more detail, uh, and I'm going to walk through a little bit about the file prep and then the prints and how the papers vary. Uh, do subscribe if you're enjoying the Photospeed videos or if you wanna find out more about different paper types, how they vary and why, and all some of the product videos we do, and indeed the uh, interviews we do with photographers at the moment. Just hit that subscribe button to get all of those straight to you and the little notification bell as well. Now, enough of that, let's get into today's video. As I mentioned, I wanted to look at these papers in a bit more detail, specific to this one image and I'll talk about that more in a moment. But the reason being, the Platinum Cotton 305 came out in 2018, and Photospeed developed it alongside Joe Cornish, obviously world-renowned landscape photographer. Now at the time, Joe was very keen to have what's called an OBA-free paper, and OBAs are optical brightening agents. Now those are chemicals that essentially make some papers feel even brighter white. Uh, should we say. So a lot of papers have a, a little bit of OBAs in, some have more than others, but the downside of an OBA, although it gives a great print at the beginning and it looks quite crisp and white and clean, is that over time, depending on how much OBA is in the paper or the surface, uh, you can get degradation of that and the paper colour uh, will, well, will discolour basically and it will change. And obviously for a lot of uh, photographers or certainly uh, storage areas or you know historical records, uh, you want a paper that is not going to change. And I know Joe was very keen for his own sort of legacy and for his own uh, printing and, and through the gallery that he does uh, to have an OBA free paper. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about both the papers as we go through because they're both 100% cotton. Uh, but as I say, this Platinum Cotton 305 is OBA and acid free. So long term, that's going to be an image that will stay looking like this uh, for sort of 80 plus years uh, without any sort of change in the in the colour of the paper. Now I've got my own thoughts about how these two papers perform and uh, I'm going to talk to you about that when we've printed them out. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the computer and we're going to take a quick look at this file and a couple of things I had to bear in mind and importantly why I chose it for this particular test. We'll print them out, we'll have a look at the two prints, and I'll give you a bit of a surmise at the end about these two papers. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is our image as we know, and there's three reasons why I picked this uh, particular image. One, uh, the blank kind of area up here in the sky. I just wanna see how that renders on the two different papers. I'm gonna talk just a little bit about that a little bit more in a moment. The second reason is this darker tonal area here where we have the sand sort of sandbar for want of a better word and I want to see again how that varies on the two papers. And the third and final reason is that there's a lot of really tight fine textured detail down here in this lower third where there's a thin sheen of water over this sort of speckled sand area. And again I just want to see how that varies based on the different finishes of the platinum cotton and the NST bright white. Now, just I'm going to make two or three other little points here just for a few minutes it, to do with the print and to do with um, choosing the right paper. So just bear with me and then we'll get into the actual printing and comparing them paper to paper. Now, I mentioned about the sky. I did do another edit actually of this with some of that detail brought back in the sky. At the time, it was a very bright day. There was sort of a slight haze coming in, as you can see, off the sea. And so uh, when I shot it, it was very much more uh, like this uh, with it quite blown out. I didn't have any physical filters with me to, uh, you know, put a graduated filter on to find some of that detail. So I did just check in the edit, you know, do I prefer it with some of that detail brought back in? And the short answer is no, I don't. Yes, I do. I know there's a load of detail up there I could bring back. However, for this type of image, which is quite sort of ethereal and very graphic in shape and, and mood is very light, I personally think leaving the sky without any detail in it uh, is a, a better way to deal with it. That's just my opinion anyway. On that point, uh, if we look at the sky like this, we do think that's pretty bright. And if we look at the histogram, there's a lot of data up here in the, in the whites. We think, oh, that's going to be pretty white, isn't it? However, 
what can trick us a little bit is the background color of our editing program. Now I usually set mine to light gray or white and you can see if we go to white here, yeah, suddenly this area does not feel so bright anymore because we're seeing the actual white white next to it. It looks a little grayer, a bit colder, a bit steelier, doesn't it? Whereas if we put it down to something like dark gray, and by the way, I'm just right clicking on my mouse on a Mac to, to get this background color option, uh, you would again think this is actually pretty much close to white if you, if you didn't really think about it any further. So do just be aware of your background color. And if it's a brighter image, personally, I'd always edit it with either the light gray or with the white background color or check between the two. Now, the final point I just want to show you on the computer is to do with the soft proof option in Lightroom and what that does to the histogram, depending on the type of paper that you're going to print on. So we can see this is the normal develop histogram up here, and this is showing all the data is within there. So we're not going to clip anything or lose any detail. When we go to soft proof, which I would advise you do uh, before you do any sort of printing, again, you can change your background color. I'm just going to leave it on paper white though for now. When you select your profile, which hopefully you will have for your print and your paper, so that matches the print, the printer to the type of paper you're going to print on. Uh, when you select that, uh, you will see that the histogram changes slightly and it's trying to show you, it's trying to replicate how that paper will react to the data that you're sending to it via the printer. So as it stands, I've got the NST bright white profile selected and I can see nothing much is crazy is happening that I need to worry about here. However, if I go and put it on the platinum cotton, bang, did you see that? It just all jumped up a little bit to the right. Now I'm not going to adjust anything for now. I'm just going to print it like that. But my guess is that that is going to give us a slightly lighter print everywhere because suddenly the, the data has been jumping over to the right there or it's saying it's simulating. That's what's going to happen when you come to print it. Now you could uh, adjust for that and make a separate proof for platinum cotton where you maybe just bring the exposure down a little bit for example to bring us all back here on the histogram but I'm just going to print them like for like I'm not going to make any changes and see how we get on now I'm just going to unclick the soft proofing just jump over to the print module and I've already got this set up and ready to go with the right size and the cell size and everything else and the print resolution and down here, I'm just going to choose my profiles accordingly. I've got the NST bright white and the platinum cotton ready to go. And uh, I'm just going to unclick print adjustment. And then I'm going to print them using my lovely Canon Pro 300. And then next time I see you, we'll compare the two and check out how they've come out and how the papers differ using this particular image. Okay, so I've printed them both out and uh, I'll try and give you a couple of close ups on that as well. It's always really difficult, especially to do with lighting. I do my best to give you the, the comparisons, but these things are so subtle and it's really difficult to see through the camera, especially when you have the profiles and the screen you're viewing it on, the camera grading, the video grade, etc., etc. So essentially, I just wanted to walk through a couple of things which I think are relevant and to do with this image and to do with these papers. So I mentioned in the uh, computer section of this video, I was talking about why I chose this image and we talked about the sky with kind of nothing going on and all the texture down here and this color in the middle. So we were kind of testing three things, so to speak. And testing is a difficult word. I'm not testing the quality of these. I'm testing which uh, I prefer and that goes into my sort of memory bank uh, to then match up the right paper to the right image, you know, later on in life when I'm uh, trying to print out certain images. So if we look at the two, we've got the uh, bright white on the uh, right hand side or my right hand side, and we've got the platinum cotton 305 here. First up in the sky, because the NST uh, bright white has a little bit more texture, you can see in the very sort of blank sky areas that there is obviously the texture of the paper. Now, if you get up really close to it, some people don't like to see texture in sort of big blank areas. Um, I actually don't think it's a major problem, especially when you're viewing it at a normal distance. You don't generally have a picture on your wall and go and put your face right against it. So I don't think that's a major issue, but it's certainly smoother in the Platinum Cotton 305. And when I say smoother, I just mean obviously without texture. I would also say, and again, this will be really tricky for you to see, but the NST Bright White is, feels slightly bluer and colder up here. Uh, and the um, Platinum Cotton feels potentially a little warmer in this region, um, certainly uh, less cold feeling than the NST Bright White. 
Now, as we get down to the color area here, the sand you know, area, um, I showed you on the computer that there was a little difference in the soft proof and how they were gonna come out. And I didn't adjust for that. And you can see here that the uh, platinum cotton has come out a little bit lighter, a little bit less contrasty in this area, as opposed to the NST bright white, which is a bit denser uh, in, in tone I'm talking about here. It feels a little bit richer. But as I say, that soft proof did give me a warning on that. So what I would probably go back and do uh, is adjust the print for this Platinum Cotton 305 paper, bring the histogram more in line with how the soft proof was performing in the NST bright white, and then print them off again and check. But I just wanted to print them today with no fiddling, just bang, bang with, with the profiles as they were. Now, the other thing we mentioned was all this fine detail lower down in the bottom sort of third of the image. And um, I would say it's really difficult, again, without sort of peering at it super close, but it feels to me actually, although this has got texture and you might think that the NST bright white would be a bit crisper in this area because of that, because we're talking about a textured area of the image and therefore a textured paper might you know, really suit it. I actually think there's super fine detail in the platinum cotton 305 in this bottom area. And actually up close under the lights, having a good look at them, I actually prefer the platinum cotton for this. So my sort of takeaway as it were, is firstly that the platinum cotton is a fantastic paper, obviously, and the NST bright white also is very good and I still use it on lots of images. This OBA free thing is super important. I think if you're thinking long-term about the print, then there's something really reassuring to know that if you do print on Platinum Cotton 305, what you get now and what you look at in 20, 30, 40, 50 years is gonna be exactly the same. Obviously, you still need to store it correctly. Now, do we think about that at the point of capture? Do we think about it at the point of print? Are we worrying about 50 years time from now? Some of us may not be. So, it's horses for courses. You have to work out if that extra quality in the OBA and acid-free is worth it for you. I would just say both papers are super easy to work with. Once you have the custom ICC profile, they both reproduce both color and black and white very nicely. But I have done a separate black and white video looking at the Legacy Gloss 325 versus the Platinum Baraita. And the Legacy Gloss is sort of the brother of the Platinum Cotton 305 over here. It's also OBA and acid free. So you, you might wanna go and check that out when it's available on the Photo Speed channel. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, difficult to come to a whole conclusion because it does depend on the image and it does depend what you personally prefer to see in your prints. But I would certainly recommend uh, trying the test packs, printing a few images off yourself and checking out what works best for you. The Platinum Cotton uh, is a fantastic uh, paper to check out and a welcome introduction, I would say, to the photo speed range. That's it for me today. Do make sure you stay subscribed for all the latest videos coming through. If you like what you watched, hit the like button there. And if you have any questions at all, just pop them in the comments and myself or the Photospeed team will pick up on them for you. But I shall speak to you all again very soon.